This video will show you how just three simple mechanics will help you improve the speed of your gameplay. Okay, the first mechanic I want to talk to you about is the half flip. Half flipping is a mechanic that I didn't start using in my game until I was about Diamond 2 level. And now it's something that I use every single game a whole bunch of times. Here's a really quick tutorial on how to perform one. First, do a backflip. Then, in the middle of your backflip, push your left stick all the way forward and hold it. You'll notice here that your car stops spinning. Then, air roll to the left or right so that your wheels are facing the ground. And that's it, you've done a half flip. It should look like this. As a really quick tip, the easiest way to perform a half flip is by rebinding one of the buttons on your controller to air roll left or right. Just pick one of them. So how will this mechanic help improve your speed? Well, the simplest use of it is just to turn around really quickly. So you can go from facing this way to facing this way much more quickly than if you did this. Or this or even this. You want to avoid reversing as often as possible, and the half flip really helps you to do this. You should also practice boosting while you're half flipping, because this gives you even more speed. The other time that it's incredibly useful is on kickoffs. Every single time I'm on the side of a kickoff, and I want to go back to this corner boost, I half flip, and you should too. Okay, the next mechanic on my list to improve your speed is the wave dash. This mechanic seems quite complicated when you're first introduced to it, or at least it did to me, so I want to avoid that in this video. There are a bunch of different situations you can use it in to confuse your opponents as well as to just get around the field, but this video is focusing on general speed, so I'm going to ignore those situations in this video. First up, here's a quick tutorial on how you wave dash. First, jump. Then air roll your car slightly to the left or the right, hold power slide, and then just before your car hits the ground, side flip in the opposite direction to the direction that you air rolled, whilst continuing to hold power slide. It should look like this. Here's the situation I use wave dashing most often in. Basically, you want to use it when you're coming off a wall, and you either don't have any boost, or you want to save what little boost you have. Using it in this situation alone will make a significant improvement to your rotation and movement speed. The other situation I've found myself using it in is when I've jumped up for an aerial and then aborted, or I've found myself with a flip reset that I don't end up using. Then I'll wave dash to increase my recovery speed. Okay, the last one on my list is not so much a mechanic as it is just power sliding. This is such an important thing to start using to increase your overall speed. In fact, I've already made a whole video showing you how you can start practicing using power slide for that exact purpose. You can check out that video in the link above or in the description. The main situations you want to use power slide in are after getting bumped and when maneuvering on the walls. Here are some situations showing where power slide can increase the speed of your movement. And here are some situations where it should have been used, but wasn't. All right, those are my three mechanics to help increase your movement speed. If the video was useful to you and you want more content like this about different topics, please leave a like. It really helps me to gauge what video to make next.
And if you have any questions about anything in Rocket League, please leave them in the comments below. I read every single comment and I reply to most of them, so if you have a question, I'll definitely answer it for you. And if it's a really good question, I might even make a video about it. Alright, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.